Hey guys, so if you want to install Open Broadcaster software, first thing you want to do is you want to visit the Open Broadcaster software website, which is obsproject.com. Next thing you want to do is you see on the right side here where it says get OBS multi-platform, you want to click on Linux. Now if you are Windows, this is like easy as hell to install. All you do is you click on this link, you download this executable file, and then you install it. If you're running Linux like I am, it's a bit more complicated than that. You gotta download some files, you gotta run some scripts. So here we are in Linux, multi-platform. You wanna click on Arch Linux or whatever, whichever one you're using. And if you're using Arch Linux or Linux Manjaro, what you wanna do is you wanna copy this git clone URL by right clicking and then copying link location. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna open up the terminal. Um, let me just delete this folder real quick because it is a folder we we are about to make. Uh, right here will be a studio. Let's delete that. Okay. So next thing you want to do is you want to run a terminal emulator, which is if you're using KDE, it is um, console by default. Um, you want to type in git clone, and then you want to right click paste, either right click paste or shift control V. Um, then you hit enter. Uh, it should make a new folder for you. So if you hit ls, it should say it will be a studio, which is right there. Now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to change to that folder by doing cd change directory obs studio. I uh, just press tab to shorten that link. Um, ls again to list everything in there. We have a file called pkg build. What do we do with this? Well, if you're in Arch Linux or if you're on Manjaro, you want to type in make pkg space dash sri and that will install the file for you. Um, it's asking for your password, so you want you want to just type that in. Um, I typed it in, and it says we need to install 30 megabytes worth of software for you to install OBS. And it says proceed with installation, yes or no. You just want to type in yes, and then hit enter. Since I already have it installed, just hit N. And there we go. If you now, if you go to your um, start menu, and then go to applications, and then multimedia. You see that OBS is installed, and that is what happens. It says how you install it. So, there you go. If you have any questions on how to install OBS, just post a comment, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Um, thank you for watching, and have an awesome day.